Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos una práctica completa de entrevista desde la sala de espera. En esta práctica vas a encontrar que el orden es un poco distinto. Algunas personas que han asistido a su entrevista nos han dicho que el oficial no siempre comienza por las preguntas cívicas o viceversa. Entonces, por eso es importante tener diferentes escenarios y siempre practicar responder en voz alta. Para esta práctica hemos incluido subtítulos tanto de las preguntas como las posibles respuestas que puedes dar. Recuerda que tú puedes crear tus propias respuestas y que solo utilices estos subtítulos como apoyo, pues en realidad lo que buscamos con estos videos es ver si tienes la capacidad de entender las preguntas y de responder a las mismas sin necesidad de apoyo. Ya sabes que si estos videos te resultan útiles es muy importante que nos ayudes a darle un like y que te suscribas para que no te pierdas ninguno de los videos que vamos a hacer en el futuro. Ahora recuerda que si eres una persona que se le está complicando mucho la preparación de la entrevista y quisiera tener un sistema o un orden de cómo prepararse, para eso tenemos nuestro curso que puedes adquirir en cursosconfernando.com. En esta página vas a encontrar nuestro curso, el cual son más de 50 videos en los cuales están mezclados prácticas y estudio, ¿verdad? Y también instrucción. Te vamos a ayudar respondido tus preguntas tendrás material de apoyo para que puedas digerir mejor las clases y te vamos llevando paso a paso estos cursos resultan muy importante para aquellas personas que no tienen mucho tiempo para estudiar y sobre todo también personas que se les dificulta mucho aprender esto de la ciudadanía recuerda cursosconfernando.com vamos a la práctica del día de hoy C44 C44, can I see your appointment letter? Thank you. Okay, C44, my name is Officer Diaz and today I'll be conducting your citizenship interview. Please follow me. How was traffic? Okay, great. Please go ahead and step inside and remain standing. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Okay, you can take a seat. Okay, um, can I see your permanent resident card, your passport, and a form of ID, please? Just show them to me. Great, thank you. Now we're gonna take your fingerprints. Can you please put your right index finger on the scanner? Okay, now can you put your left index finger on the scanner? Can you please remove your face mask? We're gonna take a picture. Just look into the lens, please, to the camera. One, two, three. Perfect. Great. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer yes or no. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Do you now have or do you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined into a mental institution? What is a mental institution? Okay. Do you now owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? When was the last time that you filed your taxes? Usually when you file your taxes, do you have to pay taxes or you receive a refund? Okay. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or another location in the world? 
Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with uh, the Communist Party? Any other totalitarian party? A terrorist organization? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, uh, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? Okay. Were you ever involved in any of the following? Uh, genocide. Torture. Killing or trying to kill someone. Badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose. Forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations. Not letting someone practice his or her religion. What is genocide? Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit. Paramilitary unit. Self-defense unit. Police unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or do you otherwise ever serve in any other following? Prison or jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp any other place where people were forced to stay. What is a detention facility? Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Do you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Do you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary weapons training? What is a weapon? Do you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Do you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that help or support people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempt to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? What is a crime? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? What is cited? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been placed in an attorney sentencing or rehabilitated program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed in probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Have you ever been a prostitute procuring anyone for prostitution? Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? 
Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefit while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? What is deportation? Okay, have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you a male who live in the United States at any time between your 18 and 26th birthday? Okay, now I'm gonna ask you the civic questions. I'm gonna ask you 10 questions and you have to answer at least six of them correctly. Uh, what did Martin Luther King Jr. do? What is the economic system in the United States? What is one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? The House of Representatives has how many voting members? There were 13 original states. Name three. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Where is the Statue of Liberty? What is an amendment? Okay. Now please read the following sentence. Now please write the following sentence. United States citizens have the right to vote. United States citizens have the right to vote. United States citizens have the right to vote. What is your full legal name? What other names have you gone by? Are you going to change your name today? When were you born? Okay, and where were you born? What are the last four digits of your social security number? Okay. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? What is your phone number? Are you married? How many times have you been married?
Were you married back in your country of origin? Do you have kids? Are your children U.S. citizens? Okay. Um, can you please give me your uh, current address? How long have you lived there? What is your previous address? Okay. What do you do for a living? How long have you worked there? What was your job back in your country of origin? Okay. When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? Where did you go? When did you come back? In the last five years, how many times have you traveled out of the United States? Since when are you a permanent resident? Okay. Okay. Do you support the Constitution and formal government of the United States? Do you understand the food owed of allegiance to the United States? What is an oath of allegiance? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Okay. Congratulations. You have approved your citizenship interview. You're one step closer to become a U.S. citizen. Muy bien, ¿cómo te fue con la práctica? Espero que te ido excelente. Si así fue, déjalo saber en los comentarios. Ya sabes que es importante para nosotros que nos des tu feedback, que nos expliques qué es lo que necesitas para crear más videos que te ayuden a llegar lo mejor preparado. Si el video te fue útil, dale like. También recuerda que si te gustaría tener una mejor preparación, más sencilla y en un orden, puedes visitar nuestra página Cursos con Fernando. Punto com. En él vas a encontrar este curso bien importante. Estamos muy orgullosos de nuestro curso y sabemos que te va a ayudar a llegar bien preparado para tu entrevista. Muy bien, nos vemos en el próximo video. Chao.